Hey everybody, Vice here. Welcome back to Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants Employee of the Month. Last time we made the progress of finally being able to find the bus tokens and make our way to Neptune's Paradise, or so we thought. Due to the weather going on about on our way while driving the bus we ended up going the wrong direction and now we end up falling off a cliff and then we made it to rock bottom now we're gonna try to figure out where to move on to make some progress also I'm not gonna do that joke anymore <laughs> it went on a bit longer than it needed to anyway Let's enter the bus station. All buses cancel until further notice. Oof. Hi, Marty. Do I have to say it? Do you have to say what? I told you so. 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 Are you mad at me because of the storm? Yes, I didn't want to leave. I knew the storm was coming, but no. You and your childlike, innocent, charming optimism. Feh. I'm sorry, Marty. I'll see what Aww. I can do to get this weather problem fixed. Yeah, well, whatever you do, leave me out of it. <laughs> if the weather clears up, can we go? I, I can't make any promises. Why don't you check with the lady at the information counter? You watching TV? No, I'm knitting a sweater. Of course I'm watching TV. Chimps rules. I'd sure like to be on that show one day. I, for one, have lots of faith in you. Okay, I gotta go. <laughs> but don't worry, I'm gonna fix everything, and then we can get out of here. Forget it, SpongeBob. It's rock bottom. Yeah, that sounds about right. All buses canceled until further notice. Yikes. Am I stuck here? At the moment, yes. Aww. Information. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes. Can I help you, sir? Is this rock bottom? Yes, you are in rock bottom. My condolences. Yeah, they didn't make the reference in this game, so I decided to do it at the beginning. When is the next bus scheduled to leave this place? All buses leaving rock bottom have been canceled due to inclement weather. We appreciate your patience. But we appreciate your patience. I'm going to sure. It doesn't look like it. Oh, tartar sauce. I'm new to rock bottom. Can you tell no, me you're not. Guys? I'd be happy to tell you about all the little things our bug has to offer. Great, thanks. If you would be so kind as to get me a snack. What am I, a delivery boy? I've been running errands all day. Mm. One kelp bar, please. And Welcome to Point and Click Adventures, SpongeBob. Anybody else want anything? Please tell me now so I can get it all at once. <laughs> Who are you talking to? Probably me. Weirdo? What a big voluptuous eye you have. All the better to roll at you, Pip Squeak. Dang. I've gotta go. I have to find some way to get out of this place. You can check out any time you like, but you can never leave. Well, that was eerie. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, we got that. We got the ven a vending machine and this bus stop. We're going to go to this bus stop here first. Talk to familiar looking guy. Hi! Hi! What are you doing? I'm waiting for the next bus. I need to get back to Bikini Bottom. Oh, well, I don't think there's gonna be a bus for quite a while. Great, wonderful, fantastic. <laughs> Say, don't I know you? Uh, no, definitely not. I've never seen you before in my life. You're pretty, um, distinctive looking. I think I'd remember you. Hmm. Oh, well, you look familiar, but maybe my eyes are just playing tricks on me. Yeah, that's probably it, SpongeBob. Say, 
If you've never seen me before, how did you know my name? Or, um, you just, uh, you look like a SpongeBob, that's all. Quit badgering me. Okay, okay. <laughs> nice can. Yep. Kelsey, you look like a SpongeBob. And the cans are hmm. very aerodynamic. The sponge is right. The Bob is not. The Bob, you wouldn't can, actually know. What would I do to pass the time waiting for the bus? You can talk to me. Look, no offense, little guy, but I'd rather watch paint dry. There's paint drying. Where? Where? I want to see. Oh boy. <laughs> What do you think about all this bad weather? You want to know what I think? I'll tell you what I think. I think it's voodoo. Voodoo? Yeah, I've heard legends of a powerful weather wizard named Marlin who lives in Rock Bottom. And he's obviously upset about something because look at all this rain. Wow. A that's a bit. Wizard. That's definitely you different. Know where I could find him? Nope. Nobody knows where he lives. But I, for one, ain't sticking around to see what other kind of problems he stirs up. I'm getting out of here. Well, gotta run. Okay. I'm going to keep an eye out for that bus. Well, as long as the... Nope, I didn't get it. Hold on. As long as this weather wizard isn't living on top of a hill and... Quote unquote, taking care of a kid, we'll be fine. Um... Oh, right, I gotta talk to him again and do that. Again. So I see. Well, gotta run. Okay, I'm going to keep an eye out for that bus. Pick up the can while he doesn't see. Even though you can clearly tell he saw. And now for one of my favorite lines in the game. Sorry, I took your can. No problem. No problem. I, I hate you. you. <laughs> Sorry, I took your can. No problem. I hate you. Uh, yeah, let's look at the vending machine for now. Even though we don't got anything to use it on. Candy sign. Is that how you spell candy? Now it is. I have to put a quarter in the slot. I have to put a quarter in the slot. Okay, let's go get a quarter. Manual cover. I think I see a quarter down there. I wonder how I can get it. Hmm. Restrooms. Okay. T Oops, <laughs> fell in. Well, at least I got the quarter. Do a little victory dance for getting thrown into the sewers from the restrooms. Eh. <laughs> okay. Huh, I didn't get any more quarters. Oh well. Yeah. Okay, now we got the candy bar that she wants. We can get some information. Like I said, don't keep it mushy, but it's already open. Yeah. Here's your kelp bar, lady. Mmm, kelp. Thank you. All right, so what do you want to know? What's there to see here? Not much. There's our weather station, WSEA. My sister works there. They have daily tours. You might want to take one. Oh, a weather station. Just what I need. Maybe they can tell me when this storm's gonna clear up. It's just down the street. Knock yourself out. Thanks, bye. Okay, now we can go to the WSEA TV. Nothing there. There's a behind the scene thing. But first. Oh, hello, there it is. Ooh, Operation Krabby Patty. That was my very first game. PC. Uh, good times. Good times. Not your very, very first game that's on Game Boy Color, I think? I'm. Er, I'm not 100% sure. I probably have to relook that up, but I'm not gonna bother. 
But yeah, technically this is the very first PC game, just not the very first first game. The wonderful world of Can. Sounds exciting. Touched by an angelfish. Looks a little scary. <laughs> Hello, ma'am. How are you doing today? Welcome to WSCA. Unfortunately, we are preparing for a gala event. Everything is going wrong, and you are quite obviously not a repairman. So please come back tomorrow for a tour. Thank you. I'm not here for the tour. Well, what are you here for then? I'm very busy. Oh, I just want to check things out. Sorry, you're not allowed. Nobody gets past me without station business. And as I don't see you carrying any tools, you clearly don't mean business. Have a nice day. Mm. You have a very nice day. Yeah, great line, Romeo. You sure know how to woo a girl. I'll be back. I'll try not to get my hopes up. Jeez, how rude. Hey, you can't go back there. You don't work here, and you aren't carrying any tools, so you aren't a repairman. Anyone with one eye can see that. Whoop! Sorry! Good luck getting in there. Some freaky wizard named Marlin came in here one day and cast a spell on it. No one can open it now. Mmm, strange. Yep, we're dealing with a definitely dealing with a wizard again. Meanwhile, You're doing fine. ah, look at the little Patrick. He is busy showing the mermaid man who can drink more cola. Life can be so wonderful, no? Yeah. Patrick probably wins that. Mm, no questions asked. Uh, look at Cruz. Cheese. Huh. Is that a JoJo's Whoa. reference? Uh, anyway. Hi. What you doing? Oh, hey there, little dude. I'm trying to fix this antenna. Uh, looked hard. Yeah. Well, you don't even know half of it. What makes this job really hard is that this antenna, it ain't even broken. Huh, that would be a problem. Why would you fix something that isn't broken? I don't get it. Huh, neither do I. <laughs> All I know is those big wigs in the TV station say this thing ain't working right, and it's my job to get it up on the curb again. And I say, whoa, there ain't nothing wrong with that antenna, dudes. And they say, yes, there is. And I say, no, there ain't. And they say, yes, there is. So now I'm stuck out here till I fix a perfectly good antenna. Rip. Bummer, man. Really flat day. Apparently. Maybe you forgot to turn it on. Hey, man. I ain't that fried. <laughs> How fried are you? Are those your tools? Is anything mine? I mean, what do you mean by mine? I don't own anything. Possessions just drag you down. Those tools are merely my temporary companions. I respect them, and they respect me. Oh, okay. Then can I respectfully borrow them? Jeez. I uh, respectfully I know, say, uh, no. I ain't sitting too well with me right now. Maybe because I'm so parched. I tell you what. Bring me a Kelpsy, and you can borrow my tools for a few. How's that, little dude? Copacetic? A Kelpsy, huh? Where can I get one of those? Try the Rusty Anchor. That's where I usually go after work. Okay, thanks. Oh well, I gotta go. Okay, later, dude. Okay, not ready to go, but... Hey! Don't, don't be, be so, so grabby. grabby. Oops, sorry. Huh. Cheese. Okay, Jojo. I'll go get your Kelpsy. To the Rusty Anchor. What would we do without signs like this? There's Barnacle Boy. 
And there's Mermaid Man. So the rest of Anchor is where that cutscene was very shortly ago. Walk to a customer boat? I hope no one hears that. <laughs> Talk to Mermaid Man. Hi, Mermaid Man. You don't look so good. Who did this to you? A great pink beast. Uh. It eyes of fire and the belly of iron. <laughs> Sounds like someone I know. Well, part of it does anyway. Iron, I tell you. Iron. I hear you. Mommy, Daddy, I want my Whoopi. Well, he's definitely Mermaid out of it. Man, are you gonna be okay? There's a blurring sky turning yellow. Uh, that's just me. To the bathroom. <laughs> wow, he's in bad shape. I wonder who could have done this to him. I've gotta go. <laughs> to the bathroom away. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer too. Yep, he's out of it. Barnacle boy, it's me, SpongeBob SquarePants. Oh, it's you. Look, uh, we're a little busy here. Uh, Mermaid Man bit off a little more than he could chew. Again. What happened? Maybe I could help. Oh, yeah. I have every confidence in your ability to take a bad situation and make it even worse. How sweet <laughs> of you to say. Thank you. Come on, I know I can help. Just tell me what's wrong, please. All right, all right. It seems that Mermaid Man here can't hold his cola like he used to. Some <laughs> Yahoo challenged him to a cola drinking contest, and now he's got such bad gas he can't even stand up. Where's your invisible boat mobile? Right behind him. I tried to lift him into it, but it uh, seems I threw my back out dragging him this far. Maybe I can help you get Mermaid Man into the boat mobile. No offense, little guy. It'll take a lot more than our scrawny arms to get someone of his girth off the ground. Gotta go. Mm. I'll be back. I'll be holding my breath. I am underwater after all. <laughs> the only one with actual logic around here. Enter the rusty anchor. That guy must have a brave dentist. <laughs> I miss home already. I mean, if I clicked that one. I miss home already. Okay, let's walk over here to this one and get this. Do the kelp do? He looks dizzy. Yeah, I don't really like normal. Other for other flavors of Mountain Dew are fine. I just don't like the normal Mountain Dew flavor. Do you have any trees? My favorite. I mean, I rarely drink Mountain Dew at all, period, anyway. Fight Club. Looks like fun. Uh. Fight Club. Looks like fun. Fun? Keep on rolling, baby. Looks like good, clean fun. Hey, that looks just like Patrick. Yep. That guy looks like Ralph. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. It's alive! Looks like he has an eye infection. Yeah, because all these other characters clearly don't. Plankton looks really big in this picture. Huh? Wow! Look at the time! I better get cracking if I'm ever going to make it to Neptune's paradise. This door seems to be locked. Also, yeah, definitely don't know which is which. When I was little, I asked for a seahorse every year. All I got were socks. Do you have seahorses on the socks? Hello, big guy. Hello, little guy. Nice place you have here. It's real, uh, rustic. Yeah, I seem to have a real knack for feng shui. Mm, well, I can't eat raw fish. It gives me a stomach ache. Thanks anyway. Well, <laughs> anyway, it's it's amazing how some old cast in there could really tie a place together. It's a good thing. One tall, frosty mug of kelpsy, please. Sorry, ain't got no kelpsy left. We all tapped out on account of a cola drinking contest these two guys had in here a little while ago. 
They polished off the whole kit. All we got left is diet, caffeine-free coral cola with a lemon twist. Yuck. Well then, I guess that's gonna have to do. That'd be a dollar. You got a dollar? No, but I know where there's a whole treasure chest full of bus tokens. <laughs> Sorry, kid. That's all flying here. Pay up or pack up. That's our motto. Excuse me, sir. Can you tell me more about that cola drinking contest you had in here? Yeah, sure. They was playing Belcharama. The players each drink as much cola as they can. Then they see who can out-burp each other. The guy in here earlier was flat out the best burper I have ever seen. That mermaid fella didn't stand a chance. Wow. He was that good, huh? He was beautiful. I took a picture. It's up on the wall over by the bathroom. That guy's welcome in my place anytime, even if he is a little slow. And, and pink. Pink, huh? Hmm. Oh. Sir, my friend Mermaid Man is in the parking lot outside, and he could sure use your help getting into his boatmobile. He's not feeling well from drinking all that Kelpsy. Ah, I better help him out. I don't want him scaring off my customers. Say, can you watch the bar for a few minutes? Sure, I'm a trained professional. Head cook at the Krusty Krab. Great. I'll be back. <laughs> I always want to say that. Uh, since you helping me out, feel free to help yourself to as much of that diet cola as you like. It doesn't sell very well anyway. So yeah, we don't really have to sneak in to get the drinks. He'll just, he's, for helping him here, we can have as much of the diet as we want. That keg is empty. Guess they used it for the burping contest. That keg is full of diet caffeine-free coral cola with a lemon to whisk. Which apparently people really don't like. Uh, this. Now, note that the guy said he wanted a Kelpsy, but we got only got a diet one. But we got this destroyed can of normal Kelpsy we got before, so we can hide it. Kelpsy can full of diet cola. Uh, wait. Okay, yeah, that'll just take me to the map on Magli as well. Okay. Now we can go behind here and give him the can, and hopefully he'll let us borrow those tools. Here you go, Jojo. Here you go, Mr. One Kelpsy. Whoa, that was the best Kelpsy I ever had. <laughs> it's Thanks, not Kelpsy, it's Kovla. So, now can I borrow mm. your tools? Sure, no problemo. Just remember to treat them with respect. After all, they're people too. Okay. I find it interesting how they will censor Pepsi, but they won't censor Cola. Jeez. Weird. Jojo tools. And Whoa. now... We equip them. Right. With this toolbox, I might be able to pass as Jojo. Uh, pretty obvious is that you're not Jojo, but we should still be able to get by a bit. Calabunga, ma'am. I'm like totally finito, finito with, with the, the antenna. antenna. Great. It's about time. Go settle up with Gary. He's upstairs in the newsroom. Cool. Later, Judith. You're blind. But we're gonna go in here first. I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna do that. Okay, let's go in here then. And apparently Plankton is here for some reason. And that's all the time I have for now. So this has been Vice and see you guys next time when we figure out what Plankton's doing here and what he wants. Bye bye for now.